Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are joining the Stainless Steel Cavity Back Club. These are made by Lynx called Parallax. Now we need to address the elephant in the room when we're talking about a 90s cavity back club. We need to talk about design. All right. And I'm going to give a little course here. It'll be pretty brief on how to design a 90s stainless steel cavity back cast iron. Okay. First thing you do is you take your Ping I2, you take some engineering paper, let's call the paper CAD, and then you use your engineering implement right here. See, that was going to be dramatic. That was going to be an engineering snap, but I'm not an engineer, so I can't do the dramatic engineering snap. All right, um, so you take your Ping I2, and then you go like this. And there's your club head design, okay? Now, if the people at the patent office give you grief because you've just traced a ping I2, just go like this. Wee! And then you have a patented iron. It's so creative. So this is easy to identify. Parallax here in the cavity. Lynx Golf Incorporated USA, beautiful stamp, and then Lynx right here. Now, if you don't know what Parallax is, you can Google it. It's a really simple concept about vision with different backgrounds when you look at a single object. However, it does apply to golf, and I hate it when I talk to engineers about it because they explain it. Like, well, if you're here looking this direction and your golf ball's over here and you're gonna hit it, then what you see as an obstacle might not be an obstacle. And if it crosses over, and then you also have parallax issues because what you're looking at isn't necessarily more and that, so you're just like, thank you for that. Anyway, that's what the name of the club is, Parallax. Looking at a dress. Now, this is where I think this club really shines. It looks really clean. Like, I make fun of this toe right here. Like, realistically, you're never going to hit this with a golf ball because the hosel's in the way, right? You're going to hit the hosel and it's going to shank off before you ever contact this exact point. Maybe up here, but that's why most golf clubs kind of don't include that little corner right there. You're going to see some stuff more like this usually. Either way, they put it on there, but it gives you a nice clean look at a dress and it gives you this nice reasonable top line. I would say that's a medium top line. So at address, it builds a lot of confidence. Feral delete, we've seen that before, nothing new there. Good head shape. Moving up this shaft, this one happens to be a stepless shaft. I don't see any markings on it. It has what looks like an aftermarket Golf Pride Tour Velvet Grip. So I guess the last thing to do is get this out on the range. Annoyingly, this is a really good club. I knew people growing up who swore by these clubs. This is what gave them confidence in their game. They loved them. They swore by them. I've hit this. I can tell you it feels just as good as any cavity back iron from the era. Just as good as the VAS from Cleveland or the Ping I2. Uh, as far as like legal grooves, the square, <laughs> the square Ping I2 grooves, which were extended through PGA play, right? So the PGA allowed play with Ping I2 clubs even though they had square grooves. I remember there was a huge kerfuffle about that with Phil Mickelson. So maybe not quite as square groovy as a Ping I2, but very comparable to like a Ping I2 Plus and anything that was available in the time at the time, right? So Lynx Parallax, it's amazing to hit. It's a wonderful club. Do I think the name's a little hokey yeah but i think we need a little silliness in our lives i think that's what makes things interesting and gives them character is that corner right here absolutely necessary no but who cares it looks different and it gives it a unique look easily recognizable let me know your thoughts about the parallax it's a really good iron and I, I like it because it's 
It's like, a, it's like a good friend. You can make fun of it a little bit, but you know deep down it's a great club. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Vintage Golfer.